Right, should we sort out your backswing? Come and have a watch. So this is a, a part of the series where I'm going through the P system, showing you my favorite drill to help someone get into a certain position within the golf swing. If you don't know who I am, I'm Andy Little. I'm a PGA golf professional for over 23 years, a UK top 50 coach, and number one on the Skillist app, which is online coaching. So this is about the top of the backswing, P4. If you wanna understand my best drills for getting into the takeaway and halfway back position, so P2 and P3, make sure you click somewhere and watch the videos beforehand. So make sure you're able to get into a good top of the backswing position. One of the things I see a lot is that the arms and the body sort of lose their connection, their sync, their relationship. So I get someone starting in a good place and then they, as they swing the club back, their arms seem to get a little bit disconnected. And of course, we see a lot of different things, but one of the most common things I see is the trail elbow getting pulled back too far, causing the club to get maybe across the line, making the downswing a lot, lot easier and lots of disconnect between the arm structure and the body. Ideally, what we want to see is a feeling that when we turn back that the arm structure is sort of in front and my trail elbow is more pointing towards you at the camera rather than maybe being stuck behind me, which then will make the downswing very difficult to sink back up between the arms and the body. So I've got two drills that I really like giving people to help them understand the feeling of trying to maybe keep their arms in front of them as they're going back. One involves uh, a prop, a head cover, and one just involves a feel where you're using your arms. So the one you don't need anything, you just need sort of like a, to get a feeling of what you're trying to achieve. Get your trial arm and put your lead arm underneath and sort of behind it. And I just want you to get the sensation of feeling that you're just turning the body to get to the top of the backswing and using your lead arm to sort of keep pushing this trial arm sort of more in front. So you'll see from the downline perspective, if I put the back of my hand against the outside of my bicep, when I feel that I'm working up to the top, it's like, you know, the classic holding a, a tray of drinks. But if I feel like I'm my lead, using my lead arm to keep my trail arm in a good place, then it will give me that feeling of what I want to try to achieve when I get to the top of the backswing and not having this trail elbow getting massively stuck. Now, the other one involves a head cover. I quite often use a putter cover because it's just a little bit smaller, but it really helps actually in the whole backswing position because it allows you to get a little bit of connection and then that slight disconnection that you actually want with your trail elbow at the top of the backswing to extend the backswing up but still have it placed in a good position to unload in the downswing. So with your head cover, now so we talk about loads of drills under each armpit, I actually want you to put it under your elbow. So when you are in your address position, put it under your elbow, so it's sort of connected to your rib cage and elbow. Now obviously this will probably feel a little bit more restricted, but the feeling is, is that I start do my takeaway and I've still got it stuck under my sort of um, elbow. And then from about sort of P2 to P4, it then falls to the floor. Here, I can feel that I'm connected and to keep it connected, my chest and everything has got to turn. So it's working on that takeaway. Then as I hinge up, up to the top, then I get that slight separation of my elbow from my rib cage and allow it to fall to the floor. This is where you can actually hit some golf balls because hopefully it will just drop to the right and therefore you can still strike through. So I work on getting that feeling of staying very connected in that first part of the backswing, up to the top, letting it disconnect. Hopefully that idea of allowing it to drop means that I'm gonna be going more extending in the top of the backswing. And then from here, I'm in a good place to start the transition down to impact. Give it a try, let me know what you think and make sure you subscribe because I've got the rest of the P system to go through and then we've got to start talking about downswing, impact and follow through.